Hey there, and today is a review day, and the re tobacco I'm going to review today is from a member of our community, Glyn Crouch. He is a tobacco blender, and he has started his own business, and I wish him good luck. You see, he is a very good tobacco blender, and the tobacco I'm going to review today was sent to me by him. And I was very happy to review it. To see in the past I've enjoyed his blends when he worked for another company. And what can you say about his blends? They're really nice. If you haven't tried them, give them a go. I will put a link down below to his new website. And he will sell pipes and tobaccos and pipe accessories. Well, everything tobacco in his cell. And... Good luck, Glyn. The tobacco I'm going to review today is called Swamp Flower. Now, it's a very interesting blend. It's got Perique in it, and Turkish, and a Virginia, and a Kentucky. And it's got floral hints. I'd say geranium. Let's have a go and see what happens. Now, when I first smell the tobacco, you get that geranium smell. Hmm. With hints of the Turkish tobacco. And a sweetness. It's not prominent, an underlying sweetness. There, from the Virginias. And you pick up hints of that Kentucky. All in all, a very pleasant smelling tobacco. Now let's have a see what it looks like. Well, cut wise, I'd say a mixed cut bordering on a ready rubbed. But it's the kind of ready rubbed you don't really see anymore. It's still got a bit of bounce, a bit of spring to it, and it looks very pleasant. You can see the flecks of Turkish and the golden Virginias. And the Kentucky, it looks like the kind of Kentuckys they use in Peterson tobaccos. It's probably, I could be wrong here, it could be an African uh, Kentucky. Could be dark fired. Yeah, but it looks pretty good. There we go, I'll show you. All in all, uh, presentation wise, this scores pretty highly, as well as the smell. That's a pretty good. I haven't seen a ready rubbed looking so good in a long while. So he scores pretty highly on that. Right, now for the smoking experience. I shall relight. As always, I'm well more than halfway now. Now upon first lighting this, which was pretty easy to do, and it stayed lit pretty well as well, the flavours you got was that geranium. But then I noticed the Turkish coming through with that geranium taste. Then that's a very hard trick to pull off. It would be very easy for the geranium taste to overwhelm the other tobaccos. And... Hmm. taste comes through very well then you get that underlying sweetness from those golden virginias and then the kentucky starts kicking in and i think it is an african kentucky you get that quality that you find in the better of the peterson tobaccos in it but it is different Now, it may be just my palette, but I picked up subtle hints of the kind of rose as well. I think it's where the Turkish and the geranium flavour 
a kind of combining then you're getting nice transitions but you get that flavour run through the whole smoke it's floral in a good way it's a kind of light floral nothing too heavy it's kind of like a Lakeland but different it's a very interesting tobacco <coughs> I'm just getting over a bit of a cough at the moment now on the whole would I buy this tobacco? well yes I would it's got some nice transitions in the bowl that carry it but some flavours carry through now hmm as I said it's nearly the end of the bowl I've got to relight I haven't had this before with the other bowl I had now as you pick up the flavours it starts picking up strength and the perique starts to kick in and you get that nice spice it must have quite a high level of perique but it doesn't overwhelm again that balance stays through the smoke then you're getting a nice interplay now between the perique and the other tobaccos with some perique uh, tobaccos the perique can overwhelm and you end up tasting perique with the other flavours more merging in the background but this has achieved a balance that I enjoy it's almost like a cross between a Lakeland and a Balkan just very different and very interesting and very nice I think this would smoke particularly well in a calabash. I'm smoking it in my in a meerschaum, and it's doing very well. But I think it would do well in all styles and sizes of pipes. It would do particularly well in large bowls, I think, as well. You'll get a slightly different profile of tobacco in a larger bowl pipe, but I think you'll still get a pleasant smoking experience. All in all. The first tobacco I've tried from GQ Tobaccos gets a big thumbs up. In fact, it gets two thumbs up. It's very good. Well done, Glyn. I would strongly recommend this tobacco, especially if you like those floral flavours. Now, I can think of a few tobacco smokers who will enjoy this. And I will be one of them. I shall definitely be ordering this in the future off of you, Glyn. Now, beer choice. I have chosen a beer from Nottingham. And it's a very good beer. It was a beer recommended to me by Eric Austin Lee, whose channel is really good. I recommend both Glyn's channel and Eric's. And that is March of the Penguins. It's a very good beer, this. I've found it hard to find round here, but it's worth searching out. This is my third or fourth bottle, and oh, I can't remember who made it. William Bird, William Brothers. Oh, this is Scottish. This one, sorry, it's not from Nottingham. It's Scottish, but it was first recommended to me by Eric Costin Lee, who was a member of the Nottingham Pipe Club, and it's very good. They uh, mark at me, Nottingham. You know what threw me is because it was Eric Costin who recommended this to me. But it's a very good beer. The stout would go particularly well. It would bring out the spicy aspects of this beer. And, yeah, I'd say go for it. Try a stout with it. And also, a someone who subscribes to my channel asked if I could recommend a tobacco that would go well with Innocent Gumby 
Well, I'd say this would. But a particular Innocent Gun beer, which is their rum finish. Now, this is very good. Funny enough, another Scottish beer. And it's aged in rum barrels. And it's very good. Then this will bring out the spice and the Kentucky, but also I think we'll go rather well with the Virginias. It will give you a nice contrasting flavour. So, why not check out Glynn's Tobaccos for yourself? There will be some further reviews of his tobaccos uh, in the future. In the forthcoming future, in fact, I will be reviewing R uh, Rouge Noir and the other uh, root, oh, forget the other one's name there. There will be other reviews in the future. And I'll be looking forward to trying them. So, see ya.